perfect example I was talking about. You can't get a socket on that because of how close it is to the fitting. The fitting's super rusted. This is the old part. I don't want to take it off. The Nipix don't fit in here. So I'm on it with the Wera. And even though it's slow, it's grabbing it. So I'm using my left hand to move the Wera wrench. And as you can see, Getting the flat, and the corners, the flats, the corners, and actually there it is, just torqued down. So see, I don't have hardly any room in there. I put a Nipix in the same location. All right, this right. is the smallest Nipix that I have. Granted, it's not the excess that came out, but previously it was the smallest with a five inch pair. So, I'm on it. The issue is I can't turn at all because I'm gonna hit this right here because the way that cylinder is is awkward. So that's where the handles of the Nipix will get in the way in a tight spot. Now granted, there are advantages to the Nipix. Like with the Nipix, if I wanna grab this bolt like that and turn it, I can. With the Wera stuff, you really can't use them like this they're not made for that, but then it's, you can grab something sideways in any direction all day and it'll, it'll still work. Because of the way the, the divots work on these, you have, to, you have to pretty much be like 90 or close to 94 to work. Like you're not gonna be able to get here and get torqued. These just aren't as, aren't as strong that way. So they both have their place and they're both a really good tool to keep in your box. Also, this Nipix is all of those sizes and more. So that's also something we could consider.